Um, I'm a first year PhD student and from the University of Adelaide, Australia. And my research topic is leveraging knowledge where methodologies for multi document summarization. This is the outline of this presentation, and I will talk through um, the backgrounds of my research topic and research questions of my research projects and my current research progress and also future directions. Um, probably you might ever get lost in those research results from Google, or probably you may sometimes be frustrated with finding a piece of key information in a sea of results. So due to the developed, sorry, development of information technology, a large quantity of textual data and corpus has been incrementally sparked. So this brings out the challenges and demands for users to gather the most and significant and relevant information quickly and easily. So that's why we introduced the document summarization task. Um, and this is a natural language processing task. It aims to summarize those what it has into um, concepts and coherent summarize. Um, and um, remaining those mo the most important and consistent information from the source contents in the summary. There's a great research interest actually and attention on it I have been stimulated in both academia and industries nowadays. So this is the motivation for us to research a search document summarization task. And next, I would, in, would like to introduce the knowledge aware, this concept. So knowledge aware natural language processing, it is an emerging research field, natural language processing. It focuses on the use, um, usage, knowledge rich information from either externally sourced knowledge bases or manned knowledge bases from source data. And the term knowledge, it can be in three types, um, like auxiliary information, such as keywords or key phrases, and graph structure knowledge databases, such as knowledge graphs, um, some externally open source knowledge graphs, such as um, ConceptNet or Wikipedia or something, or other knowledge representations such as knowledge embeddings or other um, knowledge vectors in machine learning or model training. And this figure, it shows the general progress. And in that we steal knowledge from plantets and connect them into a graph, which we call the knowledge graph um, in such natural language processing tasks. So the knowledge, um, uh, as we say, um, relations among plan words can be captured and it can be contained in such graph structures. So this structured knowledge can enhance the logical and factual parts further, especially in um, some natural language processing texts, such as document summarization. Since the knowledge, um, actually the relations so uh, auxiliary information can represent and cover more applicable information from more aspects from, um, from the source content and even with the source content information. Um, according to its information, it can also benefit the informativeness and common sense um, factual consistency of generated summarize in summarization task.
This is a brief literature review of some representative、uh, works in knowledge and wealth summarization fields. Um, the scheme, uh, left scheme, it is based on a graph enhanced pre-trained encoder decode transformer, along with an efficient encoding mechanism. The graph is encoded in a graph encoder and linearized. Into vectors and to enhance the summary informativeness and factual consistency.、Um, and in this work, the graph or the semantic knowledge graph representations are produced using OpenAI triplets, and they were derived from multi-document clusters in news domain. And the right one, it is proposed、um, in 2023, which is a self-supervised citation-aware graph contrastive learning framework with pre-trained language model encoder. And the, in this work, the paper reference information and the inter-document correlation was structured in the citation graphs and. Those graphs were leveraged to guide the summary generation. So, inspired by those works, we、uh, noticed some research gaps. And according to those gaps, we proposed some research questions, such as how can we、um, enhance the domain-specific or domain-related.、Um, Knowledge of where document summarization, which means how can we enhance those domain specific document summarization task with some、um, knowledge where methodologies such as the use of knowledge graphs or other knowledge embeddings or representations. And secondly, we would like to explore some、um, knowledge exploration methods. So that we could explore more types of knowledge, so that those types of knowledge can contribute to collect underlying correlative information among documents, so that we can handle with more、uh, types of document summarization tasks. And certainly, probably we could find some ways to. Uh, represent or construct heterogeneous、uh, knowledge graphs or merge the knowledge. We could use those merged information into document summarization to enhance its informativeness, or other、um, such as factual consistency. And also due to the development of large language models. We consider if the the possibility we could use prompting methods to leverage large language models in such knowledge aware document summarization tasks. And for the current research progress,、um, we constructed a citation graph. It includes. The reference information and its citation information, and also we constructed a chemistry knowledge graph, which includes nine categories of chemical knowledge,、um, labeled by chemistry experts. We used those two knowledge graphs、um, constructed by. Or from our created knowledge aware document summarizing dataset. Um, this dataset contains over two thousand chemical papers and their related information. To ensure our dataset quality, we collaborated with three chemical experts in a chemistry field,、uh, which is the hydrogen evolution reaction area. And we collected those papers under their guidance. After a series of 
um, paper selection and validation um, we um, finally get a data set included over um, 2000 papers. They are highly topic related. In those papers were published between 1996 and 2023 from the Web of Science database. We used this uh, data set, uh, as we said, to facilitate the knowledge aware document summarization task in a chemistry field. The um, paper abstracts we used as the goals reference. Um, and in other words, the a reference summary. And we used the paper introduction as the document in such um, non in such summarization task. And this is the structure of our process database. And as for the model architecture, actually we proposed two types of model, uh, model architectures regarding the use of graphs. And uh, illustrating in this figure, the left one is about using the citation graph and chemical uh, knowledge graph independently and separately. And the right one is about using those graphs together, which means merge those two types of graphs into one graph. And we use the whole graph to select um, positive synthesis in construct constructive learning. And this is the evaluation results table of our proposed architectures. And we use the root as the metric because it is a commonly used evaluation metric for document summarization. And from this table listing our experimental results, we can see that our knowledge enhanced model achieved huge scores compared to uh, most baseline models, which indicates the effectiveness of using uh, such knowledgeable information, knowledgeable uh, graphs. And here's an example of the generated summaries. You can see our generated summary can include the conclusion of the paper, valuable information related to research needs, and the key insights of the paper. Mm, and those information can be listed in logic, uh, in a logic flow. So it implies the effectiveness of using such knowledgeable methods in summarization. And this is a comparison of our generated summary in um, the summary generated by other methods. And this is the comparison of our generated summary to the original reference summary, which is the paper abstract. So future directions, um, we are considering to expand our methods to a broader range of document summarization tasks, such as other domain document summarization or general news domain document summarization task and to research some ways to merge um, different knowledge or information in document summarization. And also we would like to research the prompting methods um, to use large language models to enhance document summarization performance. Thank you.